Marion Berry Bees here. Today we're going to talk about the wheel of life and how um, the beekeeping hobby might um, really affect your overall um, life. So we're going to, I prefer to divide the wheel of life in eight different areas. Number one, family number two work number three health number four spiritual number five recreation number six money number seven social and number eight self-improvement so talking about family if family it's top priority in your life and you are married you have children you have spouse um, if you are a beekeeper and you this is your hobby um, according to your fa family dynamics might help you or hinder you so uh, this needs to be a family affair you need to have support from your spouse from your family to be able to really enjoy it to the fullest <coughs> uh, my wife is really uh, helping me supporting me and what I do and my hobby but she's not gonna um, do work in the apiary she's into arts so uh, that's in my situation second uh, if your work if you um, your work permits this kind of activity if you are taking long trips and your family will not be able to or willing to help you with this uh, will be difficult to really uh, have good health productive hives. Uh, number three is uh, your health. Are you able to lift those uh, supers full of honey? Um, are you allergic to uh, bee stings? Uh, is anything that will hinder your activity? But for the most part, uh, if you are willing to take this and and uh, you're enthusiastic about this and you love working with bees bees will deliver you'll have that joy you're gonna you're gonna be satisfied they never fail to to deliver that joy and pleasure uh, number four spiritual um, we're going to church here yeah. is this uh, something that uh, it will complete your uh, life if we are um, off balance, uh, uh, life is not uh, lived to the fullest. Um, number five, recreation. Uh, what other activities you enjoy as a as a family or couple uh, besides your hobby that the full family will uh, enjoy? So your hobby will not restrict your. Uh, your family life uh, uh, money uh, money your ability to uh, spend on on bees or equipment or uh, is this gonna be a problem if that you consider that a problem you can solve that you can find people that are willing to take you and guide you and help you and give you uh, bees and equipment in exchange for you helping out for different uh, reasons you might have skills and abilities on different areas of life um, your social life is your social life uh, permitting you to do this are you uh, engaging too much with others or not enough with others um, self-improvement uh, I would like to point to some people in my life that really really helped me out like Dr. Clement Stone uh, or Nightingale I would say in speed reading <coughs> you probably um, understand that uh, English is not my first language so I started learning English I knew a little bit before but uh, 
I started learning English when I was uh, 39 years old. So uh, on this area, speed reading with um, Stephen Berg and uh, Kevin Trudeau, uh, how to remember everything. Um, other areas where you want to improve yourself, you want to be the best you can do. Uh, Dr. Um, Clement Stone uh, famously saying that if you think you can, you definitely can. If you think you cannot, you are true too. So be positive. Everything is possible. You make up your mind, you want to do this, you do it. You have a great day, have a fantastic attitude, surround yourself with people that uh, have positive attitude and the world is yours. You have a great day.